welcome to the interactive body balance radio show for health and fitness tips. Welcome back to Interactive Body Balance Radio. I'm your host, Mike Dasick. Thank you guys for tuning into the show for many, many years from so many countries. Uh, it has been a whirlwind. Unbelievable how busy things are going these days. Hence why we haven't done too many of these, but we'll try our best to keep them going. That's all we can try and do. Nonetheless, Saturday morning, March 2nd, 2024. It is crazy how fast things are going by. You can imagine for us, we have all the kids' sports going all across the province. We stayed in more hotels in 2024, I think, already than we did in all of 2023. But, you know, business is great. Family's great. We're, we're working hard like everybody should be. And I just wanted to do a quick show on a topic of progression and health and how you improve your health and how you keep yourself fit and healthy once you lose the weight, once you get on track, how do you keep it going and what is the determining factor for people that A, for example, lose weight and keep it off or B, right, have a business that keeps improving and keeps it improving, like keeps it growing, keeps it developing. How do you be consistent and sustain success over an extended period of time? Why am I doing this show? I have seen many people over the years lose weight to gain it back. I've seen people over many years make money and then lose it. I've seen people over my lifetime uh, you know, get into a good spot and then almost self-sabotage themselves where they give it all away. It could be a relationship, right? Things go well in the relationship with friends, family, your, your, your significant other, whatever it may be, and then it sabotages itself. They lose it. It goes back to being poor. So why is that? Why do people not get sustained results over many, many years? And some do, folks. Of course some do. Some are great. I have clients I've worked with for over 10 years, and we still check in, still do even weekly calls, and they're doing fantastic. But I'll tell you why they do in a second. So some people do get great results over time, but why do a lot of them not? Or I've helped someone with their health, and then three years later they come back and say they fell off or they went back into a, a bad position, or they gained the weight, right? Or their mindset shifted, whatever it may be. So here it is. And this is where I see people get success, right? This, these are the people that do well, so they're consistent over an extended period of time. They are the people that obviously work on the physical parts of their routine, so their skill sets. So let me, let me, I'll break it down, make it simple. They're the people that are constantly learning, right? They're the people that are constantly, you know, watching what they do. They're the people that are improving. So they look at their data and they keep their data going and they're, and they're doing this stuff. But what gives them that ability to do that? It is their mindset. One word that will determine the longevity and, and I guess you say the sustained progress is your mindset. It is your, the way you approach your life. I have many clients I work with, many in the corporate world, so many. That's that's more corporate work, more business. I love the business side of it, enjoy it so much. And then there's some we work with, obviously, as you guys can imagine, where we work with them on a personal level, right? The ones that get the results are the ones that have the mindset that becomes so strong, their belief system is aligned with where they want to go. So what does that mean? I had this quote and I say it a lot to clients and patients. Thoughts are things, beliefs make them so, and actions solidify your beliefs. That's J.B. Glossinger, morning coach. He's amazing. Great. I took his program, I think, 15 years ago. Thoughts are things, beliefs make them so, and actions solidify your beliefs. So many people have good thoughts. They may even turn them into belief, but they do not take action. Sustained action. They may take action, like I said, for six months. They may take action for a year, but they do not sustain it over their lifetime or decades, right? Decades of life, however long you want to be good at this for. So when you get going in the right direction and you get a fundamental, stable base, I always say, so this is who you are, your habits, your standards, your goals, and it usually goes goals, standards, and then habits. So what are your goals? 
What are your minimum standards? What do you want to be known for? What do you accept in life? And then what are your habits that actually play those out? Like what do you do? Day, I call them tactics. You guys know me, right? So like I said, you set your goals. You have your standards, right, of what you'll tolerate. And then you put the habits in place to achieve those goals. Tactics. And we get real deep on this when we coach people. But this is not for this podcast. So people, they get results in business. People that get results in health over an extended period of time have those very congruent and very lined up. It's almost like building such a strong mindset, such a strong belief system and mindset that you can power through even the poor times or the, the bad times, right? When things aren't going so well. And I see a lot when I coach people, especially when I start with them, they have limiting beliefs. Their mindset is shaken. They have a poor upbringing or subconscious programs that don't allow them to think highly of themselves. They don't believe in themselves. They don't think they deserve it. And that is from what I just said, right? Their upbringing, their subconscious programs, what was told to them when they were younger. They might have been 25 when it was told to them. So they have limiting beliefs and a limiting mindset. And it always comes back to self-sabotage in the end. You have to change that mindset, folks. You have to change your belief system. You have to erase and flip those subconscious programs to positive ones. And there's ways to do this. I know it's not easy. I've done it. I've helped dozens of clients do this. That is how you will get sustained progress in your health. That is how you will get sustained consistent progress in your business, your relationships, whatever your network, whatever it may be that you want to improve and keep it at a high level. It will come down to that. How you perceive, how you put plans in place, how you adjust and have a very strong mindset that allows you to propel yourself forward every time. Why is this so critical? Why is your mind and what you put in your brain and your belief system so important? Because diets come and go. I could give you a diet for three months that you follow and you look good after three months. I get these messages every day. I'm down six pounds, down eight pounds, down 12 pounds, feel better, skin cleared up, brain fog cleared. I get those all the time. But they come and go unless you have it ingrained and programmed into your mind that you are going to stay with it, that you deserve it, that your your new you, the new person, is this person with a solid foundation, a solid base that will get for it. Because think if I give you a diet, then after three months, you're like, I'm done with it. I don't want to do that nutrition plan. I don't like the word diet. You guys know, I like nutrition plan. But I give you the way to eat. You follow it for three months, but then you go back to your old ways. I give you a workout program. You follow it for four months, and then you go back to your old ways. I give you coaching on leadership or development. You follow it, but then all those subconscious programs creep up. I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy enough. I don't deserve it. People don't think. All those programs come back in, and then you let them go, right? This is why you have to align your goals, your standards, your habits. You have to get your mind correct over the duration of life. So don't think of it so much as, yes, I always say this. I had to say this to a gentleman this week. Uh, on a situation, it's partly physical, right? So why you're doing something absolutely has physical um, capabilities and, and how your neurons fire and, and if you're you know if you're you're addicted to stuff and and all that stuff. There's definitely physical components to that. I run data all the time. I love the science. I look at urine, stool, blood samples all the time. Data matters. There's definitely definitely a physical component to why you may be a certain way, but there's also a very very what I just said an emotional component to it. Why are you doing it? Is it satisfying an emotional need? Is it satisfying your parents' opinion of you when they were young or lack of opinion of you? Think about that. That's deep. Think about what I'm saying here. I want to open up your brain, right? There's a physical or physiological component to why you do things. Absolutely. And we look at that. But there's also an emotional and lifestyle component to why people do things. That's probably even more prevalent. That's what I'm talking about today. So you need to understand why you operate the way you do. And you can look back over your life. You can look back over your relationships. Are you in a relationship that doesn't serve you? Are people putting thoughts into your brain that, that aren't, aren't valid, accurate, or even warranted? That is where you get results when you start adjusting that. Like I said, there's supplements. There's food. There's medications. There's all kinds of things that can change people physically. Right? Can change their hormone levels, can change what goes on inside their body, their neurotransmitters. Of course, do it all day. But let's just say you fix that. 
Do you think that fixes how things go if you've got poor programs in your mind? If you don't believe you deserve it? If you don't believe everything in your life that you have coming forward, you are entitled to that? That you should get it because you're a good person? Right? Or are you going to listen to other people's poor opinions of you from the past? You have to be consistent. The people I get results with the best, absolutely, and I know a lot of them listen to this, are people that we do weekly calls with. We are consistent. We do calls. We keep them on the right track. We, 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 um, we confirm and we basically validate all the progress they've made and keep them on the right trajectory. The people that don't get the best results are the people that go off and try it on their own, don't reach out, get quiet, listen to other people's negative opinions, and then say, oh my God, it didn't work. It didn't work because you didn't keep reaching out. You weren't consistent. You weren't looking at the data. You weren't listening to getting a support group. You weren't getting around people that motivate you, people that encourage you, people that lift you up. Your environment, your network, the things that come into your brain are critical for your long-term success. I'll say that quote again from JB. Thoughts are things, beliefs make them so, and actions solidify your beliefs. That means taking action, doing it consistently, right? Put a positive belief system in there, you take action towards it, you're going to get your goals consistently. I think it was Lou Gershner who said this from IBM. You guys know I work in the corporate world. Relationships are built on consistent behavior over an extended period of time. It's the same thing with health. It's the same thing with business. It's the same thing. Consistent behavior over an extended period of time. I know I'm going on this, but that once you get this right, you can then start tackling the many different facets of life because you're going to get thrown health issues. You're going to get thrown relationship issues. You're going to get thrown business issues, financial issues. You've got to have these, I call them a paradigm, like a framework. You have to have these put in place so you know how to deal with this and you can get back, pardon the, the pun, I guess, on the horse. We own horses too, as you know, but that's kind of funny because you get my point. So you need to do that. Okay. I will try and do these more. I know we're at, my God, 12 minutes. I try to keep them between 10 minutes and 11 minutes, but I think we're good. But where do you, again, I get multiple calls a week on this. We're blessed to do that. I, I respond to everyone. I just sent five emails in on a Saturday morning. Yes, my kids are waiting to play. Yes, we were out late last night at a hockey game in Kingston. Um, but I still feel obligated to help the people. And I literally just did a bunch of, you know, train this morning, did the work, because I care about the people that respond and the people that reach out. The website is interactivebodybalance.com, mikedasiuk.com, M-I-K-E-D-A-C-I-U-K.com. Info at mikedasiuk.com is our email. It says info at M-I-K-E-D-A-C-I-U-K.com. Um, again, the books are free on the website. You can go on the website and get a, downloads of our books that, that, are, that are, I think, one of them is only like a 45-minute read, The Transformation from Within. Uh, we're here to surf. I say that, and I say it in a lot of my even my, my business emails, right? To to large large clients, it's, we're here to surf. This is what we do. And you know, I'm not going to leave without saying this, right? What do I tell my kids every day? You've got to work hard, folks. There's no substitute for hard work. Number one, you got to put in the work. I don't relate to people that don't want to work. I'm sorry, you have to work in this world to get what you want. That's the way it is. Number two, you got to. You got to add value to the world, right? You got to add value to the world. You all have a unique skill set. Some are different than mine. Mine are different than yours. Add that value to the world. People need to hear what you have. You've got great gifts. The world needs to hear it. I said a Les Brown quote, right? I've said this many times on the show, but I'll say it again because it's worth repeating. He flat out says this. Some of the greatest ideas, where do you think they are? The greatest ideas, thoughts, you know, things that creations, you know, inventions, where do you think they are? Ponder that. They're in the cemetery. They're in the grave. The reason why is because people had these great ideas, they had these great skills, they had this great value, and they never shared them with the world. They went to the grave with them. I know that's profound and it sounds kind of sad or weird, but if you think about it, don't let your invention, your skill set, your tools go with you to the grave. Show the world. It needs, it needs it. You're born with it. Um, number three is help other people. Go out a way to pull out chairs, open doors, give it your time, volunteer. If you have money, give it to charity where you can. Again, do whatever you can volunteer with. Help other people. Number four, and this is from JB too. I love it. Smile and have some fun. 
this world is so serious sometimes, including us. We have multiple businesses. We have multiple. You know, we have a lot of things we do. You got to smile and have some fun. You got to enjoy this merry-go-round. You never know when it's going to end, um, especially what we went through in the last few years. Just have some fun. All right, team. I hope you liked the show. If you did, share it with other people. Uh, we're here to give motivation, inspiration, in spirit. That's what it means. Thanks, Dyer, Wayne Dyer, in spirit. We're here to help people enjoy life. Live with passion, live with purpose, live with intent. Hope you guys have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you all real soon. Bye for now.